Sevilla is a very pretty city. There is a lot of culture, there is a lot of art. People are very friendly. They stay with host families. Uh, they go to class in the mornings, uh, go back home for lunch, and then in the afternoons they have uh, activities planned with them. Every day we did something pertaining to the culture of Sevilla. We went to different monuments, we went to the churches there, and kind of toured around, we went to museums, and we also did dance lessons and cooking lessons or scavenger hunts throughout the city. One day they go to a mercado, they go shopping to, to buy the ingredients to make a paella. They take a flamenco class, they go on a scavenger hunt. Another day they go to a water park. On the weekend, we go to Cadiz, which is a city uh, by the coast. So we spend a day there. And then another day on the weekend, we go to Portugal. The homestay actually makes the trip like the trip itself. Well, I lived with the host family for two weeks. Uh, it was me, uh, Nathan Otto, my roommate, and um, I think there were five kids. Uh, they really liked playing uh, FIFA. I played FIFA with the kids and I got wrecked because I don't know how to play that game. If we're in Paris, that's major tourism. We're usually there for about three or four days <clears throat> and then at that point we will transition into another, another phase of our trip. Um, this past summer that meant going down to Lyon. It was amazing. Like I've always wanted to go there. My room is decorated like Paris. When we were in Paris, we went to Eiffel Tower, a lot of museums like the Louvre and Musée de Pompidou. In Paris, I went to the top of the Eiffel Tower. A, like for our dinner, we had a dinner in the Eiffel Tower and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I, I never expected to even do that. But it was really all about going and making a connection with the family, living with the family, finding out what it was like to live in a French family. Uh, I really like staying with my family because they were the nicest people. I lived in the countryside, so anywhere you looked was green. I lived with um, a girl who was 14 and her dad. My family had two daughters. And my family had two daughters and a little boy. In the morning, you'd wake up and we drank milk and coffee out of bowls. Um, and so it was kind of different and it was kind of refreshing to do something different. The fact that you're going to be experiencing other culture, uh, other language, being in contact with, with different people, I think at any level it's always beneficial and rewarding. They're so fun and every day there's something new and exciting and you just like immerse yourself into the city and the culture. Well, I, I think it provides insight in the culture that you wouldn't get in as an adult because as an adult you wouldn't be living in someone else's home. Just the whole culture was so different, it was refreshing, and so we really did learn a lot. And now suddenly everything they've been learning, it, it's right there in front of them. You'd go into the bus station, you'd remember like, oh, I studied the bus vocabulary, I remember this. You've always seen pictures of them and then it's actually there, it's just like really exciting. There is a reason for everything, so now the reason that I'm studying a foreign language makes much sense for a lot of them. I think it makes them more independent. It makes them more, um, and I also think it changes them a little bit and makes them a little bit more willing to take risks. They're going to be experiencing a, a, a very different culture from the American culture. I think they really do become much more sure of themselves and they're much more willing to trust themselves um, and become much more independent. And you become very independent. I think it will help you grow as a person and open your mind. Because when you are in a different country, you see different customs, different habits, how people act differently, and it just broadens your experience. We have taken trips to Germany with our students, and we have taken a variety of trips. Frau Lecce has taken a three-week trip where part of the trip was having them live with families in Germany and attending German school to really experience a full immersion into the country. We are hoping for next summer or the following summer. It always depends on student interest and availability of the teacher like opening up your horizons and like learning not like only Spanish but like learning cultural things and also just getting like a better understanding of what's going on in the world around you. Not only do you get uh, practice with a foreign language, you also get to just experience a different culture. Uh, Europe in general is just so much uh, different from what we live here day to day. But then when you're actually there and you're using the language and you notice people are speaking back and they understand what you're saying, that is really exciting for the students to see. I think it's really important because I feel like a lot of students are just like stuck in America and they don't really know what the rest of the world is like and if they travel then they'll be able to like learn 
more about other cultures. I think so. I think I'm more like accepting of other cultures because I didn't realize like how different like some things were. You know, it's funny because a lot of them, when you talk to them, they are already talking about coming back. Uh, I would very much like to go back to Spain one day, uh, see more of the country. We only saw one tiny portion of it and there's so much to it. So it'd be great to go to somewhere like Barcelona or Madrid. Definitely. When I really want to study abroad. This is really one way for you to help your child develop independence. Go on the trip. It's an amazing experience. <laughs>